Hi everyone, um, I made this video clip for ones who do not like reading a whole lot and doesn't make any sense. Um, I prefer video clips at times. I've had days where I read eight to nine hours a day and I, my brain's really burnt. Don't feel like reading anymore even if it's simple facts and simple information. So uh, I like watching video clips to, for things to make more sense. Now I took the slider on the right hand side and I put it on top of the radio up there uh, so I can move it away so you can see what I'm doing here now uh, the previous clip I made was was because I actually ended up overly loosening this um, Phillips head screw here anti-clockwise I ended up loosening too much and it came off and it was dangling inside my radio now the one on my radio actually it says M1 slash 3 so what that does is I noticed is when I uh, when I tighten that means clockwise I'm going in uh, what happens is from my as you can see it doesn't come back to center okay so that ends up uh, kind of messing with my cyclic I do not like it that way for my helicopter so when I when I go in inwards that means clockwise again I'm repeating it for some like me <laughs> needs to be heard a couple of times at least before it really clicks in so as you could notice I'm actually letting go so it doesn't really come back to center um, so what we're gonna do for myself at least how I'd like it so I'm gonna go ahead and loosen it so go ahead do a little bit more so now as you can see I let it go and the stick comes back to center okay so that's what that screw does now the next one is we have a 1.5 Allen wrench here or hex driver so next one I'm gonna work on is this one right here I'm gonna play with it so first of all I can understand what it does okay so I'm gonna try to loosen it so I notice as I loosen that one um, this one this right here I wish I could flip the radio over let me see on my aileron I hope you can see that spring working as I go side to side on my aileron okay on my uh, helicopter it'll be side to side tilt so that actually you know helps me with the tension I want on that again this right here the uh, marking for that on the radio on the back is J1. Um, so J1 as I, let me see, go ahead and go anti-clockwise. It seemed to loosen up. If I'm not mistaken, I didn't actually go in too much. So I'm going clockwise now. Yep, it seemed to tighten. So clockwise, I'm going in seem to tighten anti-clockwise okay it seemed to loosen for me at least so you guys could, you guys could I mean get the hang of it I'm sure once you stop playing with it so J2 which is over here again it's a 1.5 hex screw here now that again is your um, tension for the elevator so on a helicopter, nose in, nose back, nose in, nose come back or tail down, nose in. Okay, so that's your elevator going up and down here. Now, as you can see, you can control the tensions with that. There is a spring. I wish I had a, a moving camera or somebody helping me do this video clip. Um, so I'm by myself trying to do this. It's not quite easy uh, to flip the uh, radio around. So as I came out which is anti-clockwise seemed to loosen up going in I'm actually going in right now clockwise 
In other words, uh, it seemed to tighten up the tension coming to center. So again, you guys could play around with these screws and you know uh, figure out which one does what. Uh, but just make sure, like I said, the previous video clip I explained what happens if you have the backing of the radio like that and you were loosening that that M1 slash 3 or any of the screws overly it'll fall out and start dangling inside the radio so that's that and then also on the other side of the radio now I talked about the cyclic so this side is your throttle for me at least uh, now on the throttle I don't like the ratchets so you can't you probably you guys can't even hear it go click click see over here that's where those little ratchets are probably hear it now anyhow that's uh, the deal with that so you have screws again over here I'm not sure how clear it is um, you have a Phillips over here you have a hex up here okay so I would play around with those to you know find, let me find out what they do first of all my okay I see a spring up here right about over here so that's your rudder okay yaw in other words I don't know if you guys can see that there's a little spring over here okay the spring side to side tension basically so as I'm going in clockwise I'm going in I felt that it was tightening up so I'm gonna back off till I find you know any comfort in it. So as as I go anti-clockwise the spring will loosen up side to side on the rudder um, going in regards to the uh, throttle now that's this over here it's a um, Phillips head again so that's the uh, tension I'm sorry uh, so now I have tension on the throttle you don't want that I don't want that at least going back to center every time I give it give it throttle so I'm gonna actually go ahead and tighten it all the way down okay then it moves freely it doesn't come back to center but it moves freely so I guess we did that and uh, oh, I'm sorry I did did not mention what the numbers were um, J3 was the Allen up here I suppose let me see again I'm sorry that was J uh, J3 yeah J3 is on the site I don't think we played with J3 yet well actually we did so maybe not let me see Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure what J3 is. I'm sure it's on the book. So uh, I think it, it, if I'm not mistaken, it's in regards to mode one when you switch over the sides or something. It's on the book, so should explain better than I did at least. So yes, I hope this uh, video helped again. And thank you for watching.